I'm Marcy Degman, the Aspiring Gardener. Today we're going to talk about rosehip gardening. Now, the first thing you want to do is decide why you're growing rosehips. Um, a lot of people like to grow them for the fall look because they get really pretty and orange and they look nice on the plant. Other people like to grow them because they're high in vitamin C and they're really good in tea and they're used in vitamins. So. Um, all plants are good for that, but if you want the ornamental ones, then your most your concern is going to be color, shape, and size. What you want to do is look for roses that are listed for their hips. Most of those are old species roses, like Rugosa's. This is a Macrantha, dog roses, damask roses. A lot of the old roses that haven't been hybridized over and over still have really nice big hips. Now here's just a wild rose that actually has some hips forming. So that kind of gives you an idea. They come out right after the flower. So what you want to do is you want to not trim a rose bush that you want for hips. So whenever you see the rose drop, you can see the hip beginning to form here. This green part is actually going to be a really nice, pretty large orange hip. Because I bought this one for that reason. And I've got it over here with another couple of old roses that I want just for the hips. So pick one that's known for hips. Don't trim the flowers off. And make sure if you're going to use it for anything edible that you don't spray or use anything that's not organic in the fertilizing department. But really good old fashioned roses that produce hips are easy to grow, disease free. And the biggest thing is just getting the right bushes, regular water, nice sunshine, air circulation, and you'll have hips.